Godot Engine 4 recently entered beta and I tried it out, excited for many of the new features. Of particular interest to me were the tile maps, as they are a vital tool for the kinds of games I make. Here's a brief explanation of the changes from Godot 3 to Godot 4 in terms of tile maps. In Godot 3, you can make a tile map, attach a tile set, in which you can define either single tiles, atlases, which are groups of common tiles you might use together, and auto tiles, which are groups of tiles that have some simple connection rules. These rules can be tweaked with a script to make different auto tiles connect in a simple way. In Godot 4, you can make a tile map, attach a tile set, in which you define tiles and their specific properties. These tiles can be grouped into patterns that can be stamped onto the scene and can be part of terrains, which have some slightly more complex connection rules. The upgrade from 3 to 4 for tile maps is considerable. It's going from a quirky but useful feature to a fully fledged system that is comparable to dedicated level design tools. And even though this video is going to be critical of one particular feature, the overall level of improvement is a testament to the quality and dedication of the contributors responsible. So big thanks to them. But first, if you're interested in Godot 4 or the tile map feature, Perhaps you're making a 2D game that you might port to Godot 4 one day, or you just have a passing interest in using it in the future. Please pause the video and take a short time to download the latest beta and play around with the tilemap system and the terrains. Links are in the description for everything you might need. It's important that you form your own conclusions, because if you just listen to me, then it'll probably bias you. And 23% of my opinions are just garbage. Now that you've uh, probably not done that, I'm going to discuss some issues I have with the terrain system. In theory and in concept, I love this idea. It's like auto tiles, but taken to the next level. In practice, this feature is a non-starter for me. I can't use it in a useful way for the puzzle games I'm making, and it's too quirky and imprecise for designing action game levels. It has a lot of behaviours I don't really like, and I feel are not good generally. Here are a few examples. When drawing with terrains, neighbouring tiles change all the time. There's no contract with the editor that when you place, say, a water tile here or a platform tile there, that that will remain as you paint nearby tiles. It can change them. Terrain types you've never selected can even be painted in without you painting them. If you have two different terrain sets, they don't play nicely at all. There's no way to make different terrain types connect directly. A one and only one tile transition is always required. Terrain tiles with no center bit set, they sometimes they don't show up and they don't connect right. I'm honestly unsure of what the intended use case is for these. The results of placing terrain tiles can be dependent on the order in which you are placing them. There's more to it, there's pros and cons, but like I said before, I encourage you to try it for yourself. Maybe I'm wrong and it's the perfect tool for your use case. If you would like to see some changes to this system, I have a proposal for what direction the terrain system could take, and your input could be vital to this. My suggested changes are as follows. 
Firstly, enforce that a tile center bit matches its terrain type. Currently, there can be terrain tiles without center bits, like in the popular editor Tiled. This is unintuitive, it's kinda glitchy, and it relies on the terrain system to alter tiles you haven't set. In Godot, you set data into tiles, so let's make a strong bond between terrain type and what tiles apply to it. Second, remove the concept of terrain sets and just declare terrains of different types. Sets don't really add anything of value to the current system, so instead let all the terrains interact like the auto tiles in Godot 3 could. Thirdly, and most importantly, allow tiles to connect to multiple different terrain types. This is similar to Godot 3's is tile bound, but with less API jank and more power. In Godot 3, different auto tiles could connect together, but that was just an absolute state between them. Two auto tiles which connect always connect. What the terrain system could provide is a way for you to specify how tiles connect to each other per corner or per side in a very fine grained manner. This will allow you to make zero tile transitions like with the auto tiles, one tile transitions or even two tile transitions. It'll make the terrain painting performant. It'll make it more consistent. It'll give the designer full customization of exactly how terrains can connect together. What you're seeing currently is a mocked up example of that behavior. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, I have a proposal on the Godot Improvement Proposal Tracker. Feel free to click the link in the description and place a thumbs up there to show your support. The more thumbs up it gets, the more likely that it will be seriously considered. You can even add your own comments or discussion, but quick note, please don't leave comments that just say you agree or disagree. The proposal tracker is quite busy and non-substantive comments are kind of frowned upon. But if you do have any other comments, you can leave them under the video. I'll read every one, probably. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're looking forward to Godot 4 as much as I am. And I love you. Bye.